Future Leaders in Progress Scholarship, better known as FLIP. Tonight, we're gonna honor 20 lucky students from both Dearborn and Dearborn Heights Public Schools. We are awarding a total of $75,000 tonight. Hi, I'm Chastity Townsend. I'm the Executive Director with the Dearborn Education Foundation, here tonight to award the FLIP Scholarship in partnership with Huntington Bank and the Arab American News. Tonight, I'm acting as um, the pass through for the funding as the nonprofit of choice for the students to get all their awards this evening. And I have sat on this committee over the last month and a half or so in preparation for tonight's event. Thank you. This is Glenn Maleko here, and I just wanted to mention that uh, this scholarship is fantastic. We have $75,000 that's coming to students, giving back to students that we know are going to make a difference. I want to thank Huntington Bank and Mr. Torgo, uh, his team, and I want to thank Mr. Sablani and the Arab American News for putting this together. Uh, it's really exciting to see our students doing so well, uh, getting uh, financial aid to help them as they move on to college with the commitment to come back and help in the community. Let me first thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us in, on this special occasion and this evening. First and foremost, congratulations to the awardees. It was really refreshing and encouraging to meet some of these brightest future leaders and look at their credential and listen to them talking about their future. Other awardees that we did not have a chance to interview, we read their credentials, their references, letter of references from their teachers, and also they have written a short essay. It was very difficult, really, to select the best, because most of those people, most of these students who submitted an application, they were the best. The students in this room are filled with rooms filled with winners. And they are in every corner of your community. Not just the winners here tonight, but children all across your community. And how incredibly fortunate we are to have discovered in a small way our opportunity to add to their stock of blessings and purpose. Our congratulations tonight to all of tonight's winners and to their wonderful families for being such outstanding role models of kindness and goodness and achievement and leadership. People did a lot to create opportunities for people like me and others that are here. Uh, and I think we understand that and I think we understand two things. One is our job is to give back. Uh, on the one hand, on the other is our job is to encourage. And for those of you, hopefully there are a few of you uh, that are getting scholarships tonight that decide you want to go into public service. We need you. Take a deep breath before you do, because it's a very punishing job now. But it won't always be like that. And government needs good people. Uh, we need good people everywhere. So God bless all of you. Thank you, those who are getting awards tonight. Thank you to the others who competed, but maybe didn't get one this time, but were great, strong students. Uh, and thank you to all of the rest of the folks that are here that I know had other things they could have done tonight, but nothing was more important to them tonight than to come and honor the kids that are receiving this scholarship. I want to first uh, congratulate the recipients, the scholars here. We are all here because of you. And uh, it is so amazing and incredible to hear from you, hear about your leadership. And I know you are going to be sitting in the seats of uh, the older people in the room, supporting people in the future. So I think that's wonderful. The only string attached to the scholarship is remember, pay it forward. When you get to that position and you're able to do it, give it back. Remember how it felt like to stand here today and receive that money. I remember hearing that a few years ago that, oh my God, we're in trouble with our new generation. Actually, we are in trouble because they're gonna be better than us when we grow up, you know, because I've seen some, a lot of great achievements they have done in the last several years. Uh, I've been to several, uh, four graduations just in the last two weeks, and I've seen some of the amazing students in all four schools, and I am really proud 
uh, to be part of that, you know, to see that generation grow. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can accomplish. I always say, if I did what I've done in the la you know, since you know, uh, you know, I came to this country, I can't even imagine what you guys can do. To the students, you know, you're, you're graduating high school and you're hopefully on your way to further success. But the one note I would provide you is here in the city of Dearborn, there are varying definitions of success. What we often congratulate is the short-term accomplishment. You know, the first mayor uh, who happened to be XYZ, um, a person who received scholarship. But the success I would love for our community to recognize even further is that long-lasting success, the success in which the decisions that you may make today may help those around you, but the success that hopefully lays the foundation so that your actions today continue to give back for generations to come. And that's a success that I think uh, will lead you on a pathway to even greater success. To the students, I want to tell you thank you. Everybody's been congratulated. I want to thank you. Thank you for making your family and your community so proud. You think you're the happiest one tonight with the checks you got? You have no idea what's in the side of the hearts of your parents and grandparents and everybody in your family. The pride you bring on them is immeasurable. But I want to ask you to continue that. Continue that through college and continue that as you grow up and you get older and you have the good jobs. Never, ever, ever forget those parents and the people around you.